Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm going to be doing a review of a Mary Kay uh, Vox box I received. I qualified for it on influencer.com and so it was sent to me for free. I didn't have to pay any subscription fee or anything like that. Um, it was sent strictly for me to uh, review the products since I qualified, just complimentary for testing purposes. So I received the box. I'll show you what it looks like when I got it. So it comes in a like this at your doorstep or you know your mailbox, whichever. And then it says "Hello, gorgeous." So I thought that was really cute. To test all the products, I just did um, a makeup look. So anything that they sent me in the box, I used um, for today's makeup. For the purpose of this video and just to test it out to be able to give you an honest um, review and my honest opinion. And they also send you this card here which shows all of the products that I received, um, what they are and what they retail for. So that was pretty cool. Um, so let's get started. So the first product, um, I'm going to go actually into the brushes first. So they send two brushes. They come in little packages like this. I smell everything. So as soon as I open these, they have a funny scent to them. They just smell like manufactured, you know? I don't know if that makes any sense. They just have a funny smell to them, which I don't really like. But um, I guess if you air them out a little bit, the smell will probably go away. Or if you use a brush cleaner or something, the smell will go away. So anyway, they send two brushes. Um, this one here is a powder brush, so you can see that. Um, it's not the softest powder brush, but, you know, works uh, pretty pretty well. Um, and then they send this here. It's a cream eye color and it, or, you know, or a concealer brush, which I used it, so don't mind the, you know, the look of it. But um, I probably won't use this for concealer. It's a little bit small for me. But I, um, I used it for the cream eye color, and I thought it worked really well. Um, it's not so, so soft. It has a little bit of stiffness to it, and it makes it pretty easy to work with. So I like that. It doesn't say what the powder brush retails for. They just have that shown on the front. I actually wasn't expecting it. Um, but the cream eye color concealer brush retails for $10. Um, and again, like I said, will probably, most likely I'll, I mean, I will use this. I used it for the translucent powder that they sent, um, and I didn't mind it, but it's a little bit, I don't know. We'll see. We'll have to see about that one. Um, but this one I definitely see myself using when, with not just their cream eye color, but I have some other ones that I really like, and I thought this brush worked pretty well for that. Um, the next product, let's see. Um, is the Last Love Mascara that they sent. Now, it's in the color black. Uh, there's the wand. That's what that looks like. Um, okay, so my thoughts on this. Now, first off, I'm a mascara junkie. I love mascara. Um, I have a couple of favorites that I continue to purchase because they just work really well for me. But, of course, I wanted to try this out. Um, so, first off, it retails at $15. It says this mascara defines, defends, and delivers four times the volume. So, the brush itself is actually, it kind of hurt me. <laughs> um, it's a little bit harsh, and it was a little bit painful to use, to be quite honest. Didn't like that about it, um, and I don't think, I mean, I think it did a pretty good job. with my eyelashes, but nothing that wowed me to the point where I would say that I would purchase it again. Um, it just was really, really harsh for me, and I did not like that at all. Um, like I said, it was kind of painful. With, uh, if they changed the design, um, the material, whatever they use for the wand, then I would probably try it again to see how it worked at that point. The next product they sent was the um, Mary Kay Cream Eye Color Apricot Twist. Uh, it retails for $14. says soft, creamy, long-wearing formula. So, this is what that looks like. It has a little bit of like a golden color to it. I think it's actually really pretty because I like the more neutral tones. Um, so, I did use that also today. 
on the base of my, my entire lid. I actually really like it. Um, again, I did use the brush that they sent to apply it, and I thought the, the two paired really well. Um, it's pigmented, has a nice pigment to it. The color is really, really pretty. Definitely very, very creamy, like it says. So I will um, most definitely be using this again in the future. I really, really like the eyeshadow. And I now next, um, they sent a mineral mineral cheek color. Um, it's called Shy Blush. It retails for twelve dollars, and it says Stay True Color Defines Cheekbones. So I do have this on. Um, you can't probably see it that well because of the lighting, but this is the color that I got. Again, it says it's Shy Blush. So it's a really, really pretty color. Um, I thought it was really nice. And it's actually pretty cool. It comes out of this little container that they send it in. So if you have a Z palette or something like that, you could just stick this right in there. And they do have the color on the back in case you you know, you don't remember off the top of your head, you can just pull it out and it's right there for you. So I thought that was a pretty cool um, idea. I don't know if that's what they exactly designed it for, but it seems that way. Um, and it goes on really nicely. It's pigmented. Um, you could probably see a little bit on this side, but not as well, just because, of, again, of the lighting. But definitely a pretty color. I can definitely see myself wearing this. Um, it has a little bit of a sheen to it, like a golden sheen. And I like that, so I buy the Milani um, blushes, so I will definitely be using this. The next product is the Translucent Loose Powder, which retails for $16. Um, it controls unwanted shine all day. Now, it comes in a really, really great size. Now, for being, um, you know, this is just a complimentary box that I was sent. I was actually really impressed with the size of the translucent powder that they sent. Uh, it opens up just like this. I actually didn't close it, so that's my fault. But it's just like it's a white, you know, looks translucent, just like any other translucent powder. But it's really cool because it has this design where you can just snap it closed or snap it open so that you don't have all of this fallout, which is my fault because I um, did it so quickly. But I actually, um, I'm, I'm really looking forward to, to using this more because I use um, a lot of pressed powders and they have color to them. So this is going to be great for when, you know, I'm getting a little bit color because the weather is getting nicer. A translucent powder is a must have. It controls the shine, but it doesn't add any color to your face. So my first impressions of this were great. I really, really liked it. Um, you know, I have the sheen on my cheeks, but it seems like it's so far controlling my uh, oiliness in my T-zone really well. So this is definitely a cool product. Excited for that. The next is the gel eyeliner with an expandable brush applicator. It's in the color Jet Black. Um, this retails for $18. It says it's a versatile eyeliner with intense color payoff. As you can see, I have it on now, and um, it comes in a little pot like this, same as the others, um, definitely a, a good size. Something that I noticed right away, I have some um, gel liners from Lancome, drugstore brand, different things. This one is really, really creamy, which makes it super easy to work with. Um, so if you're getting just, you know, newly getting into the gel liners, I would definitely recommend this one. It went on so easily. It just glided right across my lid. Um, and the brush applicator worked really well. So there's the little brush. Um, and the really, really black, like I said, very creamy. I'll definitely be using this again. Next, um, they sent a bronzing powder, which retails for $18. Um, creates a natural looking sun kissed glow. So this one is in light medium bronzing powder, comes in a packet like that. I thought this was going to be the same size as the blush that they sent, but it's actually bigger. It's really pretty. Um, it does have a sheen to it. Um, I usually prefer to wear a matte bronzer, but this is pretty for the summertime. Um, and even a nice hot spring day, I can use it. The shimmer always adds an, a nice sun-kissed glow to your face. And so I'm impressed with this. Um, I used it slightly for a contour. I didn't apply that much of it because I didn't want so much of a sheen, but um, 
I definitely think it's buildable, and I'll probably, you know, I'll be using it more when the weather is a little bit nicer just to see, um, you know, get a really, get a real feel for what it's like. But definitely a great size, especially, again, for a complimentary box just to try the product. Um, the last product I have, yeah, this is the last one, is actually the lip color I have on, which I am loving. Um, it is the Mary Kay Nourishine Plus Lip Gloss in Mango Tango. Um, it retails for $14, so it's a rich, intense, long-wearing shade. Um, so it comes in a container like this. Um, it has some sparkle in it. Beautiful color. There's your wand. I'm going to apply more. Mm. Yeah. It's so, so pretty. I love it. I think it's perfect for the summer months. Um, it's like a darker coral color, which I love, love, love. And it smells, it smells delicious. It really does smell good. So I'm happy with that. So let's talk overall. Now I have tried Mary Kay products in the past and I didn't really have the best experience with them. This was years and years ago. I honestly don't even know exactly how long ago it was. But based off of the this um, box that I received today, I'm actually really, really impressed with their products. It's like they've stepped it up and they've improved the product quality. Um, I'm really looking forward to using some of the products. Um, I'm happy with the look today. Obviously, that they gave were just great overall, and I'm really I, excited for it. Um, if you're looking to purchase any of these Mary Kay products, you can find them on Facebook, Twitter, as well as Instagram. And I'm sure if you just Google search Mary Kay, you can come up with their website, and you can purchase all of their products right online. So definitely check that out. There are some great products here. If you have any other questions, something that I didn't touch on, um, just leave it in the comments section below, and I'll be happy to answer them for you. Uh, the video, please give it a big thumbs up. That would really help me. And if you want to see more videos from me, just click the subscribe button. Thank you guys again for watching. Have a great day. Mwah.